All right, good morning. I'm going to do this video freehand with no edits. I'm going to try to talk and walk and show you everything I got going with this battery box I just made for the four lithium kilovolt batteries back there. I'm going to show you every little nook and cranny and detail that I can, but this thing really turned out good. Really good. So let's get right down to it. This thing butts right up against the wall there. And I got a 12 volt blower fan, which I will be changing up because this, this thing just cranks out the air. So, and I got it tuned down really low. But we'll be changing that out for a quieter fan. It's just pulling way too much air out of the house and into the box. It's got plenty of cooling and in the wintertime warming if needed. So, let's get down to it. First thing you'll notice at these corner deals, these are off my. I bought a new air conditioner. I had those in the box corner protector deals for the air conditioner and I saved them, thank goodness. Uh, they, they fit perfectly on here to protect the corner because the way you get into the batteries is that this thing butts right up against the wall and you just kind of tilt it forward on its face. And what I did this morning is put some of those little bump stop deals you can nail in and I'll paint those. Just doing a little bit of tweaks this morning with this thing. Now with the handles, these are those gate handles that had wood screws and I put quarter 20s in here with lock nuts. Now with the foam back in here, let me come around here a little bit. Let me show you how I got this thing sealed up. This is that air conditioner foam stuff that you can buy at Walmart and that's where I got this stuff. And I stapled it in two places. On the front here and then I put a piece back here so it kind of mates up together for a good seal the problem is the staple gun that i used was just a hair too long and it came through the uh, wood here so i had to sand them down fill and then have to repaint touch up that a little bit now on the inside of the box hopefully you can see all this i use silicone and also duct tape the reason why I use duct tape on here is because these front panels are removable. And I just want to be able to peel them off and not cut through silicone if I wanted to, you know, put a piece of plexiglass so I can see the batteries. And be all fancy, put some lights and stuff in here. Now with the batteries, you know, I have those thick copper bar bridges, jumpers. And what I used here, this is a piece of rubber foam to kind of protect everything that's going on here. In case I drop something on here, there's a little bit of added protection. You'll just use some, you know, cargo twist ties. Now for each leg of the battery voltage monitoring, what I did is I made individual, since it's individual circuits for each battery, so I'm, I want to see what's going on with this battery voltage, all four of them. But they're individual circuits going up to the voltmeter, so I included, included fuse. There are 10 amp in there. You don't need 10 amp. I'm going to put fives in there. I got some fives on order. But I had to custom make these wires that go up into here and then back up underneath where the battery monitoring is. So let's take a look at the battery monitoring. This is all Blue Sea Systems voltmeters. And last night, shoot, I was online and they were 25 bucks each. Like, oh man, that's really expensive. But man, I tell you, you get what you pay for with these. These are very accurate and they match what my Fluke True RMS multimeter is reading. So, what this does is it gives me an indication of each battery. System voltage is what is coming right off the buses down there. This is a pricey Blue Sea Systems battery temperature monitor. And what I had to do was the cord that came with it was too short, so I just bought a little 10K ohm probe, submersible, you know, heavy duty, little 22 gauge tin, and I got it sitting right down there to monitor the temps inside the enclosure. Lastly, this is fan control for <coughs> the blower fan. So you turn it on here, and I got this thing set for 7.6 volts. This meter only reads down to 7.5, but the problem, I've got it tapped off, the, the fan is powered, I stepped down the 24 volt system 
with this step down buck converter to 13.3 and then I reduced the voltage on the potentiometer down to 7.6 to drive this fan which pulls air out of the inside of the house. This blower fan, I went cheap on it and it's too loud and it's got way too much blowy blowy. I mean it's just pushing incredible amounts of air and at the same time pulling way too much air conditioned air out of the house so yeah, kind of counterintuitive all right let's go here I got this all prettied up I took that high voltage deal off there and put high current and some stickers on there that's your foam there touched up all here the way the box latches onto the wall is with these hinges and I got them velcroed up here you see there a little piece of velcro here a little velcro here to hold these dogs up so when you're moving the box in and out it doesn't catch on the box I repainted that right back there did some more touch up but uh, yeah this thing is going to work out good so let me, um, let me show you what the box looks like when it's attached to the wall all right here we go now I got the box in place where it belongs and you can see how I got the latches down there you can see the foam back there it's a good seal no, no leaks at all just got to sand and paint this look at that right there I just painted that hardware this morning too I'm gonna paint these little feet bump stop things because when I'm doing maintenance I just pull this thing and lay it on its face all right there you have it climate controlled lithium battery box 24 volt system works beautifully